This is part three of me turning famous logos scary. Up first we have Hostess, which we renamed Ghostess. My idea was this for to make the ring around Hostess be kind of like a Danny Phantom ghost portal. So I started by taking out the word Hostess, I made the ring green, and I made the little heart white because I wanted to make him a ghost later. I made the ring look like it was glowing and added in that portal in the middle there. Lastly, I typed out Ghostess in the font Mouchamp, and I made the coloring and the drop shadows and everything look like the original, and here's the final result. I love just the whole concept behind this one, and I think it looks really good. Up next we have White Claw, aka Fright Claw. For this one I wanted to give it a hand drawn effect to look similar to the wave they had in it already, but my idea was to make it look kind of like a witch's hand with like long nail claws. So I drew the hand on Procreate, and lastly I changed the birds to be little bats. Then in Illustrator I tried to mimic the circular part of the font, but changed it to a drippy horror font. And here's the final result. I love the name Fright Claw and Blood Seltzer, and honestly I couldn't be happier with this one. Last we have Wells Fargo, which I renamed Hell's Fargo. I knew I wanted to make the horse look kind of like a skeleton horse, so I did that in Procreate. At first I thought I wanted to make the little guy a uh, devil, but eventually my idea morphed into making this the Headless Horseman. Once I was finally done with that, I brought it into Photoshop. I changed the yellow bar to be a black bar just to make it look a little more scary. I typed it out in this font called Taranum, and here's the final result. I love the little Headless Horseman guy, but I actually think this one's kind of cute. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments.